it is I, Republic Studs here, and before we get into this, I just want to give a huge shout out to Brick City. Check him out in the description below and subscribe to him. He's a great friend of mine. Now, let's get into this video. So, we are going to be discussing which summer sets am I going to buy? Because we have a lot, and obviously this wave, I'm going to buy a lot um, of the sets. Because in wave in the winter wave, it, we, it, was, it was absolutely awful. Um, I'm going to say that Lego completely screwed the pooch. Every time I walk into a Lego store, there's not even a set I remotely want. I only own two sets from it. The Mando Battle Pack and um, from The Mandalorian and Obi-Wan vs. Anakin, which itself was kind of a subpar set looking back on it. The only real benefit in both of those was obviously the figures. Now, they were also decently priced. But yeah, the summer wave is definitely where it's at for LEGO for me this year, at least. Obviously, when I'm not buying other extra third-party things online, like Clunder Me Customs, or buying LEGO online. But yeah, so let's get started with the first set is the Advent Calendar. I'm absolutely going to be buying this. I do the Advent Calendar every year. This is by far the best Advent Calendar I've seen in my time with LEGO Star Wars. Except for me, I didn't get the Darth Vader one. Um, but I'm going to be trying to do daily uploads doing that in every video. Some of my personal favorites in that include the Darth Vader, um, Santa, or not, or sweatshirt, uh, Poe Dameron, Luke's hut, um, that sort of stuff. We have a snow gonk droid. We've been getting those for the last three years in the Christmas sets. So those should be great. Um, moving on from that, we have, of course, the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set. I don't know why they call it that, but yeah, this is a set. I'm just going to do pieces now prices is 285 pieces $29.99 um, it's about $10.55 if you do price per piece um, and yeah so this one's coming obviously with four or five first minifigures well one of one of them's a jetpack trooper and two battle droids as well as two builds um, which are all great I think the least um, cool build in this one is definitely the ATRT. It's definitely one of the lesser of them all, but it's still not that bad. It's, it's, it's not awful. Um, definitely. Um, so I'm definitely going to be picking up at least three of these the first day they are up, and then after that I'm just gradually going to be getting them. Maybe I'll even get four the first day. I don't know how I'm going to feel that. But yeah, so um, it's going to be gradual after that. I'm going to probably get ten, and I'm definitely going to be buying this. Now moving on, from that set is Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Now this one I have been thinking about a lot. This is part of the reason I made this video. This is because I want to be able to get all of the prequel sets, but I also already have the original, and it's basically the same thing, but I also want to be able to have every prequel set. I've reviewed two Anakin Starfighters on this channel, the 2014 one and the, the one that looks like a V. Um, I've reviewed that one. They've also gotten like 10 views, 20 views. It's not that great, um, but just had Chick-fil-A. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get that. I think I will get it if it goes on sale. If it does not go on sale, I will not buy it. Um, if it goes on sale, even for like three bucks, if it ends up being 17, wait, no, it's 30 bucks. If it goes, it's, it ends up being 19.99 or even 24 bucks, I'll definitely be picking that one up. If like Walmart usually has it for sale, 248 pieces for 30, uh, it's not great. It's 12 cents per piece. Um, not a huge deal. Um, moving on from that is at 75283, the Armored Assault Tank. I will definitely be picking at least one of these sets up. I may pick up two, um, but I'm most definitely picking up one. I may pick up two. Um, um, but yeah, one seems like enough for this. I might get two. I keep saying that. I don't know why. I keep one sealed because that, that this set would be worth, I have a feeling, is going to be worth a lot. I just have seen recently the interior pictures. It looks like it's going to be fantastic because they have a control panel if you, in the top and you flip it up. And then you can walk through the back, which is fantastic. I wanted that in the original. Um, and yeah, it comes with two great battle droids, even though like they're labeled weirdly. It's looking like it's going to be 14 cents per piece um, and 40 bucks, which again, it's not great prices. Um, it's like you could get three five or first ones or two of these. So obviously I'd rather get four five first or th three five first ones instead of two of those but yeah um they're also great to combat your five first battle packs of course you get more clones even so yeah um moving on from that is the knights of ren transport ship i forgot the name of it but that's what they're calling it the knights of ren transport ship um i the night this just episode nine ships are kind of blanky on me i didn't really like i wasn't like 
studying for episode nine when I went to go see it, and I, after I just didn't have any motivation to either. Um, actually, I did. I take that back. There were a lot of things I wanted to see in the background. I got like a book. Um, but yeah, retailing at seventy bucks, five hundred ninety-five pieces. It's not. I'm not, I'm not gonna get it. I'm just gonna be flat out. I didn't get any of the episode nine sets. Not a single one. Um, so this one is no different. Not a huge fan. Um, I, I, and not, I, I don't hate Episode Nine, but it's just okay. Next up is General Grievous's Starfighter set seven five two eight six. Now this is a pricey boy. Um, so for eighty bucks, you're getting four hundred eighty six seven pieces. Which if you do a price per piece, that's sixteen. That's sixteen cents per part, which is insane. That's ridiculous. Sixteen cents per part. That includes studs. That includes everything. I'm sure it's easier, much cheaper to price it out. So I am going, I'd be lying to myself if I said I wasn't getting this. I'm absolutely going to be getting this. It might just come out a bit later, mainly because I want to be able to get all the prequel sets for this um, wave, at least. And, and yeah, I just, it, it comes with a clone trooper. I, I, that means I'm contractually obligated to get it. Um, the figures are meh. I have both the other figures. Maybe I'll just buy the clone trooper. But I also want a General Grievous Starfighter. Like, I need more of those types of ships. So, yeah. Uh, moving on from that, we have set 7528, two, 288, the AT-AT. Um, this is retailing at $159.99, so $160. Um, 12, 12 cents price per piece. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm going to get this. I've wanted an at, -AT forever. I might have to wait a lot longer for this one. I'm not going to get it at release. But I definitely want one. I need an at, -AT. AT, AT. I haven't had one, and I need it. I, like It's just such a good, useful set, and I need it. Um, but yeah, moving on from that, we have the Death Star Final Duel set. I will not be getting this one. That is because I have the original, and it's not that different. It's a bit different, like the entrance, even though it doesn't make sense why the entrance looks the way it does, um, because in the movie, it's an elevator there, which is odd. And they just add stickers everywhere else, which is fine. And they, I think they switch it up, switch it up a bit. But other than that, it's the same. They just switch sides. It's just a re-release, basically, which is really disappointing. They tried nothing new with it, aside from like basically spiffing it up a bit. Now we have a few more, and this includes the Razor Crest. So it's seven five two nine two. I'm probably gonna ask for this one for Christmas. I don't want to spend one thirty on it. Um, for what one thousand two hundred three pieces? That's not bad. Um, for one thirty, it's twelve cents per piece. The piece price per piece is definitely going up. So I'd say it's around like 11 now, maybe 12. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting this one. I'm going to be talking a bit more because supposedly we're going to be getting a brand new, a bunch of new Mandalorian sets in the future because that's why we didn't see like characters like Queel in this, in this one or uh, Moff Gideon. And that's why we're just seeing that. And also it's finally going to be my chance to get the Scout Trooper, the new one, which is great. Now moving on to, I think, the most underrated set of this wave, the Resistance ITS Transport, retailing at 100 bucks, 10 cents price per piece. It looks fantastic. It reminds me of a cross between a U-Wing and a uh, Corellian fighter. I just general, I just, we just need more generic like ships like this because we've been getting so many Falcons, so many fighters. We don't get any cool, like, different ships like this is something different and i'm definitely happy for it i'm really going to try to pick it up but that's definitely not going to be one of my last priorities and for one that hasn't been revealed yet which i have a feeling will be revealed during comic con um i have a feeling we're going to be some getting some 2021 pictures soon that's why i did a 21 21 predictions video um we will be getting the child uh, buildable figure i don't i don't know how that's going to look but yeah and also, we are going to be getting the um, the Brickheads, Baby Yoda, and Mandalorian. I am probably going to, yeah, I'm going to be picking that one up. I'm lying if I said I didn't. I'm definitely going to be picking that one up. Um, how I'm going to afford this all? I don't know. But yeah, with that said, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, check out Brick City YT, and I will see you all in the next one.